Can you give our audience a brief understanding of what Immersion 4 is and then tell us about your new success stories? Sure. Well, um, Immersion 4 has been also designed uh, genuinely to fit within the circular economy. And as you know, there is a time in order to move forward to be able to be able to demonstrate and to really deliver the message concretely, okay, because of a matter of finance, matter of timing, and a matter of circumstances. And uh, when the COVID happened, uh, it was an interesting time, I said, for immersion for, and it was also personally an interesting time for me. I was always thinking that carbon footprint is very important. This is one of the pillar of our of immersion for no carbon emission, but carbon footprint is very important as well. But not only and solely carbon footprint, is what is the impact that we are making on the pollution side, microparticles, as well as how we can also solve the sovereign, national sovereignty and enhance local economy and enhancing local people. And when the COVID happened, basically this little 130 nano <laughs> virus put everything on hold. And what we saw is uh, the dependency that we have created, the economic model, which is not sustainable, and more than anything, that we were all blocked. So circular economy is the right way to go in order to not only reduce carbon footprint, but also to be able to involve community on the industrialization process. And that's what Immersion 4 is all about. So what we are doing right now, we are realizing our first production site, as well as the lab. And that model is going to be exported all around the world for every country or every nation or regions who want to become independent and where we will have, our said, uh, business success. And based on the size of the business success, then we will spread out, I will say, the Immersion 4. The beauty of this is what? Is we want to pay tax. Well. What are we talking about? <laughs> well, we want to involve local economy. We want to involve local people. We want to create value. And by creating value, we can also create values in the same time, which is the main spirit of family offices. In the same time, what we discover is the COVID is not an airborne virus. It's an air carried virus, meaning it needs a carrier in order to be propagated. and. Uh, we have been published for that by the ITU and the UN because we made a theory saying that the microparticle as being the Trojan horse for the COVID end up to be true. This is why Lombardy, which is very close to Monaco, has been dearly and uh, impacted. Well, what that means, if we don't continue move forward, moving forward towards our set of circular economy, we will continue to generate microparticles based on the human activity. And the COVID XX, because it's going to be others, are going to be reactivated and we're going to be basically creating our own demise. So there is only one way. We need to reduce the level of pollution. We need to reduce the level of particle in the air. We need to distribute the value. We need to reduce the dependency with the others and to create jobs. Because during this time, the planet is still growing at 1 billion people every 13.7 years. And we all know that energy is the key. We switch off energy, that's it. So it's time to do some things about it. Why should investors or family offices in invest in the uh, immersion board? I think the mission is one of, our, is one of the main reasons. Second thing is uh, we have a very simple structure. So we have only one class of share. We did two run on friends and family, which is pretty rare. And we're about to, to do the third one. Uh, for uh, the first valuation was uh, 1.2 million at 30 million val uh, valuations. The second one was 1.4 million at 55 million valuation. And now we're selling 10% of the company at still $55 million valuation. Why do they invest? Because we are an organic business. As always said, Immersion4 is not a company for sale. Uh, I don't like to use that word, but Martin Luther King said that better well. He said, I had a dream. And for me, it was part of the vision I had. Uh, I want to create this uh, data as energy chair that the ITU now okay, want to set up with us, which is awesome, because we, can, we will do that together. And my ultimate dream will be to create, I would say, the World Bank of Energy. 
because energy has to be mutualized. So then in that case, immersion 4 will be given to the World Bank of Energy, then belongs to everyone, because it should never belongs to any one company or others. So we need really to move towards eco-conservation, environmental conservation. Otherwise, I think the planet is right now giving us a very nice lesson saying, well, you know, guys, I don't like what you're doing. And uh, my reaction is drought, overeating, issues with climate, issue with virus. Siberia is on fire right now. There is cities drawing down. There is lack of water on, in a mountain nearby, and we can see that here. Well, what do we do? Stop the electricity here, we will have no AC, we will have nothing, so we will have a major problem. We can not be even able, I said, to do this, this kind of level of communication. So we are completely dependent on the society we have created. And there is a solution. And one of the solutions is really to rethink our energy model in order to re not only reuse the waste that we are doing today, like we do with organic waste, but also to really rethink the way we are spending. Eco-conservation, it must be the leading way. And coming back to immersion for on that one, if you have a cup of champagne and you want to cool off the champagne, are you going to cool off the entire room or you just cool off the champagne? If you cool off the champagne, it's immersion for. If you cool off the entire room, it's a data center. Here we are. And which markets are you seeing are, are embracing now this uh, taking care of energy and reusing energy? I see the entire planet rethinking about that. It has been a lot of greenwashing. There has been a lot of people thinking about what we're going to do, we're going to put a stem somewhere. But now well, everyone is looking at outside and looking at the urgency that's happening there. There is this girl outside, Greta, that everybody knows. She's on the street, stop a steady, continue to make a big message on the planet, say, guys, your jeopardy is my future, why I should go to school? I think personally, as an adult person, we should all be ashamed. She's giving us a lesson of life. We pretend to be father, we cannot even take care of our own children. So it's not about the legacy. It's about what we're going to leave behind. And this girl is telling us the way to do it. So we must support her. And that's clearly, I want to say, is the mission of Immersion 4. But Immersion 4 has been designed to leave a better world on the space that we're focusing on, which is cooling off electronics. So friends and, I said, not friends and family, but family offices, and when we talk about impact, Clearly, without any eco-conservation, environmental conservation, which are part of the principle of immersion for, there's, there's no future. And every day is showing us that, well, guys, it's urgent, it's urgent, and now I will say it's too late. But it's too late an answer. No. no, because otherwise that means that I'm acknowledging the fact that my son will not have a future. So what kind of father I am? So we need to change that. And this is why the message when I was on the chance to be and the honor to be on the panel at the first time was, we need to do some things. Either I see here a room full of problems or either I see a room full of solution. And I want to be optimism because I still want to believe. I still want to have the hope because the day we don't have the hope was left, nothing. And then our last question to you is, again, finally, what advice would you give to um, investors and family offices you know, looking into uh, investing in renewable energy or clean energy or saving energy? <coughs> Try to look through the greenwashing, really focus on people who have founders or executive team of company or C-level or, or said very powerful people in this world who really have a meaning to say, well, there is a crisis right now and we need to do some things about it and really move towards this eco-conservation and environmental conservation. And the best example is, look for example this 130 nano virus. Billionaires, poor people, all over us, rich, no matter where we are, no matter, well, we all have been impacted. They block us at home, we believe or we don't believe, but we stay home. So there is a message to that. First of all, one hair. <laughs> water, and this is what we need as humanity, and we need to preserve that. And as an ecosystem, we are not the ecosystem. We are just a teeny piece of a lot, millions of ecosystems around. And we need to understand that we are destroying all of them. For what? 
So we need to change that paradigm. If we don't change that paradigm, like the planet is doing today, it's a wake-up call. So if we need to invest and make an impact, we need to make impact on companies who are doing eco-conservation and environmental conservation. And this is not about individual and initiative. Of course, everything starts at the individual level, but it's about all the people coming together, like we are doing here, in order to find solution in many domains. And for one, based on the resources, could be money, could be connections, could be technology, could be wish, could be sensitivity, could be spirit, okay? We need all those people to come together. And like I said, this, I've said this word, as you know in my mouth, schlang and nani, in Zulu meanings coming together. Okay, we need to come together because it's all our problem. And there is a sentence that I saw very recently. The sentence was, we will, uh, it was again Martin Luther King who said, well, we will remember the words of our enemy and the, si and the silence of our friends. 